any of this. But uh, last week or a week and a half ago, I tore apart the blue car trying to figure out the overheating issue. Threw new head gasket in there and water pump, etc., etc. Uh, ended up not being the issue, still overheated. Got a new uh, OEM style radiator, dual, dual size from the junkyard. And threw that in there and it still didn't solve any of the problems. We were still overheating. Uh, so now, this weekend, I finally, like I said, I wasn't going to record any of this, but I finally decided to tear it back down. Uh, I already took the old head, head gasket back, and while I was at AutoZone, uh, ended up discovering that I had the wrong head gasket all along. Uh, I was getting a head gasket for a 90, 96 Honda Prelude, which is a, through AutoZone, considers it an H22 A1 motor when really I needed a head gasket for 98, which is the H22A4. Uh, so yeah, that kinda sucks. I had the wrong head gasket from the start. Um, and I wanna say, I didn't get to open this one yet, so we're gonna open it now. I wanna say that this head gasket is gonna have a lot more holes around the cylinder, uh, around the coolant reliefs on the head. And because on the old head gasket, that I've, I wish I had it still, but I couldn't because I had to return it. But uh, if you can compare the two, you would see the water holes, or the holes that water wanted to pass through, but the gasket was a different style for, for whatever reason. Uh, it wouldn't let it. Good thing this is still wrapped up. Oh yeah. So before, this is gonna go like this. Flip the camera around, guys. So this new gasket is going to go like this, and uh, like I said, the other one didn't have the hole here, and it didn't have one over here somewhere. They were, they were missing a lot of the coolant relief holes, and this one is a lot different. Um, it's going to be exactly what we need. I got a good feeling about this one. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed. Uh, I do got to go somewhere today, pretty soon here, so I'm just going to bust into it now, and I'm going to actually throw in all the old clips before this, and then I will pick up the rest of this video after all those old clips, so bear with me. Hope you guys like the video. What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. It's been a few uh, weeks since I've uploaded. Just been kind of focusing on getting stuff done off camera. Uh, in the personal life and uh, I actually made some progress with the gray hatch and got a chromatic gasket under there and it wasn't still wasn't working out so just kind of gonna step back with the gray car and focus more on the blue car right now so like I said we still have the overheating issue going on right now so today we're gonna be focusing on getting this new water pump in that I got from Honda brand new OEM water pump uh, I do have an eBay water pump if you guys have been watching since the beginning of the uh, H build. Uh, I did put a brand new eBay water pump in there, but I think it has failed me or it is not working the way I need it to. So we're going to go ahead and tear that apart and get into that today. We're going to go ahead and take this cover off. I'm uh, going to get the alternator off. And also with taking this alternator off, this belt right here is kind of on an angle. If you guys can see, this this almost looks like it's a rib too far this way. So this does have different holes. I'm gonna try and line those holes up and see how it, how it looks. Uh, they go from there. Uh, my buddy Mike lent me a bunch of tools to make this job go a lot easier. Uh, Mac 3 8 wrench, uh, Mac half inch impact gun. And uh, so we're gonna get going on this, and uh, yeah, so let's get it, let's tear into it. All right, so we tore into her, got some stuff taken apart, got the alternator out, timing cover off, timing belt off. I do got the block, the bottom of the block TDC, uh, the cam gears are TDC as well, alternator over there. I did go ahead and relocate the relocation kit. Uh, like I said, I had it in those further bolts over, so I stepped it over one, and I got it here for now for mock-up once I get everything put back together. Uh, went ahead and got the tension, um, the tensioner pulley, and 
and all that off of the water pump because on the HC those come mounted up to it so right now I'm just charging a couple batteries and gonna get ready to take off this water pump I want to say it's like four to five tens um, and then we'll get that off and get this new one on well we're recording I might as well just open this new one for the first time See what she looks like. I've yet to keep my eyes. There she is. Oh, sorry, upside down. There she is. Yeah, so the uh, pulley and tensioner mount into these two holes, I believe, are one of them. I forget which. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah. Some big some big fins on there hopefully that's uh, a lot different than what the ebay one looks like so we're gonna go ahead and get this ebay water pump off and see what it actually looks like and see if there's any teeth on there and we'll go from there all right guys so here's the ebay water pump here's the oem one as you guys can see the fins are still good on this um from this side it doesn't really spin that good it's kind of like not seized but hard to spin and you can see it's kind of more of a protrusion into the slot where it goes as the OEM one has more room for water to enter the fins and spin. Now from this side, uh, this I mean it's brand new so it's a little unworn but it, it just feels easier to turn already compared to the eBay one but I guess that's expected. So hopefully this is definitely my issue. Like I said this has more blocking almost of water passage then it's gonna allow any to go through uh, as you can see the hole I mean big hole but it probably stuck out more than like I said let water flow by than anything so hopefully this will be the fix we're gonna get this in here and see if it fixes the flow and lets the motor cool down at idle so I'm gonna get this all back together and we'll make an update from there what's up guys uh just got the car back together took a small break had to run over to uh brandon's house had to get the cord for the laptop to the to the honda and left it in his car the other day so we got the alternator back on uh as you can see it's kind of crooked in these other holes it kind of almost needs to be centered in between these two holes but i uh, got it on there making it work see what happens uh, hopefully it doesn't squeak on idle like it used to, but it probably still will because it is a little off-center. But uh, I got the timing belt back on. Everything's good to go. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put some water in there. Got the uh, tune switched over from the gray car to the blue car. Just going to go ahead and actually turn off VTEC right now because it was engaged. So just in case we do drive the car and this is fixed, uh, we can not worry about going into VTEC and being running out of fuel because it's not tuned for VTEC right now. So, had a radio in here. I was trying to get that hooked up, but that doesn't work. So, gotta get rid of all this nonsense. And let's see if she fires up. Those actually sound a lot better. Probably still is off a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and get some water in here, burper, and see if she stays under temp. All right, guys. So we just got done trying to burp it. Uh, by the way, I did trade my white bumper for a blue bumper. Looks a lot better. Matches the engine bay paint better, better than the uh, paint that I painted the car. But uh, it is what it is. It blends way better than the white. Uh, but I do still have the white back bumper. Shout out to my boy Jack Squad coming through with the clutch trade. But uh, as you guys can see before I shut the car off, it heated up to 212. So the water pump was not the fix, uh, although it might have been a 
help because it didn't overheat as long as quick and it took a little longer for uh, it to burp than usual so maybe the flow was a little better I uh, had a lot more air bubbles in there I don't really know but it's definitely burped and it still gets hot so uh, now we just gotta take the head off and do the head gasket probably gonna start it today being Sunday and finish it tomorrow Sunday or Monday and see how it goes from there uh, I do want to since I'm taking a break from the gray car I think I'm gonna throw the carbon fiber trunk on the blue car and actually I think I'm going to take the carbon fiber hood from the gray car for the time being not right away but in, in, uh, in some time after I get this buff and whatnot because I want it to be on the car when that gets ha when it happens so we'll wait till then and switch some other goodies but uh, tomorrow I will be ordering the tires, I promise, for the, for the wheels. And uh, like I said, I'll show you guys those uh, in a little bit. So, uh, sucks that it wasn't the water pump because that was a lot easier to fix, but we gotta pull the head. It's not that bad on the H, but it is what it is. So let's get to that and we'll see how far we can get today. All right guys, so it's a few hours later. Like I said, I had to go do a couple things running around came back uh got a couple things torn down already got the timing cover off damper off uh i didn't loosen the belt i probably won't i just pull the cams out and then uh adjust the tensioner as as needed i uh, got the headers pulled off i got the intake pulled off and when i went rbc and h to k the rbc where is it came with this fitting right here right there and i put it there just to have somewhere to put it obviously it doesn't do anything because the coolant's blocked off from the H to K intake adapter but I think that's actually failing and that plug is supposed to go back into the factory H port so when I get the head off I'm going to take that H to K adapter off and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about I don't think we're going to get into that today but uh definitely tomorrow I'm going to have to tap that port into there so it's blocked off because if you guys look you can see there's like it's like wet in between the intake again and I just had this off and you guys if I bring it closer over here you can see almost in the uh, in the ports how it's uh, hang on. Get some better angles here you can see how it's uh, coolants in the ports so it's probably not the best thing for the engine but we're gonna fix it before it gets too bad uh, the car hasn't really been driven like that so if anything it's idle with coolant being fired in it, but it fires, so who knows? Just got to fix this overheating issue, so hopefully we just put this new water pump in. Hopefully the head gasket will uh, fix us up there. So we just got the distributor sitting over here. Everything's pretty much disconnected from the head. All I have to do is uh, take the valve cover, which I already did. Take that off. And start taking the head apart. Everything looks good in here. Super tech. Everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and get this apart. And we'll make an update once we get the head gasket off. Alright guys. So we got the head gasket off. Uh, cylinders filled up with some water there. But we'll get that uh, cleaned out. It's a good thing that they're holding water though. You know the rings are sealed up. Actually get that out now. I don't even want those sitting with water in there. But anyways, um, got the head gasket off. Uh, there's no, to me, there's no really big signs or big indications that the gasket is bad or why it would cause it to overheat. Uh, it's facing the right way. Maybe it's just a faulty gasket. Try to take this off with one hand. It's not easy, but there it is. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Definitely some dirty water was in there, I know that. Maybe that caused it? In between the layers it clogged up, I don't know. But we got it off now, I'm gonna throw a new gasket in there. Get all this water cleaned up. And get all these cooling passages uh, cleaned up, ready to go. So, this is probably all we'll do for today. And uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. I'll probably go get the gasket either later on tonight or tomorrow right after work before we start messing around with this. But 
yeah so we got most of it torn into and uh i don't know if you guys noticed but i got a blue bumper oh yeah i did say that already so blue bumper is on and jack squad also donated some prime side skirts for the car so we're gonna get those on here i didn't get a chance to put the carbon fiber trunk on here but that is going on this car regardless um and yeah i'm gonna have to clean the head up a little bit tomorrow yeah so maybe this little part right here is gunked up i don't know it's all very weird for the h series stuff i'm still new to it so we got some figuring out to do so all right guys uh we'll pick up tomorrow and guys next day in the vlog like i said monday just got back from AutoZone. uh warranted out the head gasket Read up on some paper towels, some brake parts cleaner, had to get some tail lights, oil change, and we are ready to go and start ripping away at putting this back together. Um, got some brake parts cleaner to clean off the head, and like I said, we still have to take this off and retap those this water port. Like I said, because it's getting in between where we don't want it to, so we're gonna port, tap that, and we should be good. So with us what's up everybody uh it's the next day tuesday uh i literally just finished putting everything together uh didn't feel like filming it because you guys have seen me do it before so we got everything back together uh i'm just draining the oil right now going ahead getting ready to uh put some fresh oil in there i already swapped the filters out so all that's really left to do is uh connect the battery put oil in and bleed the coolant and hopefully she uh she doesn't overheat at idle. So uh, I'll get you uh, guys a clip when we first start her up and we'll go from there. All right guys, so we just got back in the garage. Uh, it's around seven at night and uh, we're gonna start getting back into this situation. Uh, like I said, we got the new head gasket on and uh, I went ahead and threw the head on. So we're good there. Um, right now I'm going ahead and getting the washers and nuts for the ARP head studs. Uh, I gotta throw some, uh, ARP lube on the nuts before we throw them on. And we'll torque the head down and then we'll start getting all the accessories bolted in. I had to run and get a torque gun from my dad's because this craftsman couldn't take the impact off. Because last time I used my buddy's Mike's tools. So, and, uh, he had a Mac impact gun. So the craftsman had nothing on the Mac. So we're gonna go ahead and get this taken apart or putting back together and we'll go from there. All right guys, so we're out here right now. 12.03 in the morning. Got the car idling. Just burped her and she's pulling back down. She pulled back down by herself to 183. Fans turned back off. And I think it worked. Watch, so we're going back up to 185. Give you guys an example, 188, 190, and Perfect. Super excited. Gonna contact the tuner and get a tune ASAP. Catch you guys up tomorrow in the morning. Me and Brandon are heading to the junkyard. So we'll pick up the end of this vlog then. And we'll go from there. Alright guys, so it's Sunday. Blue car's over there idling. Got Brandon over here. He's doing a couple things. My man got his new carbon fiber roof installed. Can't really see it that good on camera. Let me turn the flash on. Carbon fiber. It's 
probably like a one of part. Can't find any more of these. We've looked them up. And uh, yeah, so we just got this installed. He's going ahead and putting his plastics back in. Uh, got his oil pressure gauge installed. And over here, went ahead and put the carbon fiber trunk on the blue car. We got this running pretty good, idling pretty good. Uh, drove it almost all day, no overheating issues. So, had the wrong head gasket. Uh, we went to the junkyard earlier, didn't record much. Wasn't anything worth recording. Uh, I did get this uh, overflow mount. So it's nice and tucked down now. Got this hanging off a zip tie. Uh, but other than that, yeah, everything's running good on the car. Got these uh, top hats for these struts that I got. I got a swap out in the front. Uh, got the wheels right here. I promise you guys I'd show you them. So here are the new wheels for the blue car. Ordering tires tomorrow. Hopefully have these installed by Thursday. We have one with some MST 15 by 8s Pretty nice, some satin black. No gloss this time, no chrome. So, gotta order tires and mud nuts for this and all the way for the tune. It'll we'll be good to go. I think we still got the laptop connected, as you guys can see. Real quick, you just saw the fans were on. See that we're not overheating. excited about the car uh, glad that it's finally working the way it's supposed to so we'll finally be getting this car buttoned up soon hopefully uh, this week I talked to my tutor he tried to speak me in today but our schedule just didn't meet so I see a lot of people showing interest in the eight build so hopefully this uh, pleases you guys uh, stay tuned let me know what you guys want to see next inside the dyno with this car and let me know what you guys think of the car inside the trunk 